Hello, my name is Mr. Pendergrass, and I am the elementary instrumental music teacher at Fairmount Park here in West Seattle. I miss my students very much, so I'm glad to be with you sharing my love of music today. I'm making this video at my home here in the room we call the office. I live here with my wife, who is also the counselor at my school. I have two grown boys. One of them lives just north of Seattle in Muckleteo, and my other son lives in Portland with his wife. This is the trombone lesson, and we're going to do a lesson that focuses on how to practice using the brass method. I'll explain more about that in a moment. Review some of our pitches that we know, and then I'm going to introduce you to our new piece, the Imperial March from Star Wars. So, here are the things you're going to need. You'll need your trombone, okay? Uh, you don't need a music stand for this lesson, but That'll be helpful in the future. Some paper to take notes and a pencil. I will let you grab those things and give you a moment to get your materials. Okay, the first thing we want to do is tell you about a word that you can use to help you think about practicing. The word is brass like the material your trombone is made of. Each letter in the word brass stands for a concept or idea we'll use to help you practice. As you can see here from the slide, B stands for buzz and breath, R stands for repetition and rest, A stands for articulation and agility, S stands for sing it, and the final S stands for share it. I will explain each one in detail. Now I'd like to start with that first B, buzz and breath. You already know that to make a sound on the trombone we have to buzz our lips into the mouthpiece and without a good breath or buzz it's not going to make a good sound. I will demonstrate my favorite buzz warm-ups then after I demonstrate you will have a chance to try them on your own. So let's just take our mouthpiece and it's really important with the trombone, you don't want to set it down on the slide or it'll get dented. So if you're not using it, best to put it back in your case so that it's safe and it doesn't get stepped on or fall over. Okay, so we're going to take our mouthpiece and we're going to do some buzzing like this. Make sure you have a lot of breath. Okay, that's that other B in brass and really have a solid buzz. I want you to listen. Try to think of blowing warm, fast air to get a really good buzz. Next, let's do some sirens on just the mouthpiece like this. Go as high as you can by tightening your lips. And then go as low as you can by loosening your lips. Don't forget that warm, fast air. Now go up and down to create that siren effect. Finally, for the last part of our mouthpiece only warm up, we're going to buzz a song. What do I mean? Well, listen. And see if you can identify this song by just me buzzing it on my mouthpiece. I hope you figured that out. It's hot cross buns, that's right. Now, you get your mouthpiece and try my buzzing warm-ups. Okay, we are ready to put our mouthpiece on our trombone. Now, when you put your mouthpiece on, just set it in the lead pipe. Don't pound it in there. I know it makes a really cool sound, but 
If your mouthpiece gets stuck in your trombone, it's really hard to take out. So just set it in there, maybe just give it a little twist, and it'll be just fine. So I'm going to take you through a great trombone warm-up using all the positions. But first, I want to talk to you about a lip slur. A lip slur is when you blow two pitches and you don't tongue them, and it helps you get your lips in shape. So I'm going to do a lip slur, and then I want you to try. And this lip slur, I'm going to start on F. And then I'm going to lower my lips without moving the slide because F is in first position, which is right here. And you're going to hear me go down to B flat. And then I'm going to come back up to F again. Sounds like this. That's a lip slur. Listen to it again. I have to have a lot of air because I am not tonguing and I'm doing it on one breath. That is a lip slur. I want you to practice that. Now, I'm going to take you through that same lip slur through each of our positions. And you can see from this picture here that you just go all the way down through your positions. So we'll do second position next. Third position. And as you get your slide longer into fourth position and beyond, you're going to need a lot of air. Fifth position. Sixth position is probably about as far as you can reach your arm. And in seventh position, as long as you can go. That is a really great warm up that you should do on your trombone. Now, you try doing some lip slurs on your own. Don't worry if the longer your slide gets, the harder it is. You just got to blow more air. Be patient and always blow warm, fast air. Okay, let's try some songs you might know, but we're going to sing these songs while we move our slide. And I'm going to try to get out of here so you can kind of see me play a little better. So I made up this word called sphingering, and that means we move our slide while we sing a song. It's a totally made up word. When I use it with my kids, I'll say, let's finger this song on your instrument, and they know to do something like this. Mi, re, do, mi, re, do, 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 re, 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 mi, re, do. You probably recognize that song as hot cross buns. But instead of playing it, I was moving my slide in the position and singing do, re, mi. If you don't know how to use do, re, mi, you can still sphinger and maybe say the words to the song like this. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Or use the pitch names like this. D, C, B flat. D, C, B flat. Then that way you can play it and know you got it right. The reason I have my kids finger things is because if you can sing it, you can play it. Okay? Now here's a list of songs you may know that you can finger as well.
Okay, we are ready to do the Imperial March from Star Wars. This is a great song for any brass instrument, especially the trombone, because they're kind of the key players in this song. So I'm going to have you look at it while I play it, and then I'll come back and talk to you. Now get your trombone and play along with me. Notice I've given you the positions for some of the pitches you might not know. One of those is fifth position, which is just right out here beyond the bell. You might not play that very much. And then that B flat, that high one, the highest pitch, it's going to take a lot of air. But you can do it. You probably know this song from Star Wars. And if you just will listen to it and think about the rhythm, I think you'll get it. So take some time to practice right now. Okay, I hope that you will practice what we have learned today. Remember to always blow more air than you think you need. That warm, fast air is key. But you can do the last S in brass today. Share what you've learned with your family. They will love to hear you play. If you have time, keep practicing what we did today and other exercises and songs you've learned with your elementary instrumental music teacher. I look forward to seeing you again.